Hi there. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, Grant grew up in a cooking family. His parents owned a restaurant. And he stood on a milk crate and cooked on the line with them at that point. Went to culinary school at the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, and then worked in some of the best restaurants in the country, including two stretches at the French Laundry with Thomas Keller in uh, Napa Valley. The French Laundry was a point in my career where I realized that food could be art. And, and he really showed us um, an expressive way to cook. And it became very apparent to me at that point that I could continue that evolution, take it even further. And when it came time to go to Trio and eventually Alinea, it became basically the most important aspect of what we do. And then opened Alinea in Lincoln Park in 2005. The next year, Gourmet called it the best restaurant in America, which is Pretty good work if you can get it. Um, and this summer, he won the James Beard Award as the Outstanding Chef in the United States. And if that wasn't enough, he was going through some pretty intense personal stuff. He was diagnosed with tongue cancer. I learned that I really love what I do. Because despite what was going on, I still wanted to come to work every day you know I, I could have easily like I had the best excuse in the world like nobody was gonna nobody was gonna call me out and be like you know I can't believe the chef's not here today like right. if I didn't want to come to work I wouldn't have nobody would have thought otherwise you know um, but I did I did want to come to work and and uh, you know it really where a lot of people when they're facing a life-threatening illness um, they ask themselves like well, what do I need to accomplish in my life? What do I need to do? What do I need to do different? And the answer for me was nothing. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Thank you, sir. I mean, is it? Yeah? Yes. All right. Now I feel like a, a real TV chef. So we uh, quarter the apples, we core them. We're going to throw them in the pot with apple cider. While that's cooking, I'm going to take down this pheasant here. So in this preparation, we're only going to use the breast of the pheasant. Again, employing some technology, we're going to do what we call cooking in sous vide. Certainly, um, technology becomes a, a very powerful creative tool for us. It, it gives us more options, more ways to manipulate the food in unexpected and new ways. And it just becomes a creative outlet for us. Now, I have some of the apple gelée already set. This is where you would cut the commercial and then <laughs> Rachel Ray would Pull that perfect cake out of the oven and boom. And, and what's next for you? I mean, what do you see sort of on the horizon? Well, we still have a lot to accomplish here at the restaurant. And, you know, that's, that's the beauty of it. It's a, it's a constant evolution. It never, nothing's ever old, you know? It, so it, there is no end point. There is no there is no finish line. It just continues on and on and on. And so I'm sure there'll be other projects. I'm sure we'll want to do another cookbook at some point. Eventually, there'll probably be other restaurants. But right now, we're just focused on what we're doing here. What was the goal in putting together the Alinea book? Well, we wanted a book that exemplified the restaurant, captured the energy, the creativity, the passion that's involved in it every day. Unfortunately, once the book is printed, it's done. You can't change it unless you add a web component that continually grows with content and material. It's our way of continually evolving or starting over, reinventing the cookbook. What does Alinea mean? Alinea means the beginning of a new train of thought, which at the time when we opened the restaurant three and a half years ago, uh, it had a lot of meetings. It was obviously my first restaurant, so you certainly have to shift your thinking when you open your first restaurant, your first business. But more importantly, it was, it was about the food. 
about about the experience that we were trying to create, it being new and different, and just kind of rethinking fine dining in general. All right, so we have our cooked pheasant breast. Square it off, and then you're gonna cut cubes. I have here kind of another ingredient of, of fall, which is like that roasted vegetable, that caramelized vegetable. The entire staff, we have 52 and we feed anywhere from 70 to 90 people a night. So it's a tremendous amount of labor force to feed that few of people. Mm -hmm. um, and it breaks about 50-50. So 25 in the kitchen, uh, cooks working from 6 in the morning until 3 in the morning. We pass each other. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm leaving at 3 in the morning, the baker's coming in to get going to start his day. So, it, you know, it, Tremendous amount of work and, and resources go into what we do on a, on a nightly basis. What's your favorite part of the day? What do you, what do you enjoy doing? Probably the very end. You know, where I, where I get, it's quiet. I'm alone. Uh, I'll come out and sit in the dining room with my notepad and do what I love to do, which is create. Start coming up with new ideas, new dishes. So we take our branches and like a bamboo skewer, you just skewer the three items on the end here. Do the pheasant last because it's going to hold everything on. These guys are giving you the smell of autumn. What we're trying to tap into is um, the mind and, and try to evoke certain memories in people. For instance, um, the smell of a roasting apple pie. You know, you might have fond memories of opening that oven door at your grandmother's house and having that smell waft out and you're transported back to when you were eight years old. And we try to harness those things and, and bring them forward to the guests so that it goes beyond eating, it goes beyond dinner, it becomes something much more. People would actually smell that and start to cry. You know, we really want to make make the experience um, beyond just putting food in your, in your stomach. You know, it really is, is about evoking these emotions and making it theatrical and entertaining and having you laugh and perhaps having you cry in, in, in the best possible way. Um, that's really what Alinea is all about.